Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM CE Tutorials. In this video, we'll see how to create a fill pattern using SOLIDWORKS. So fill pattern is generally used when we want to create multiple copies of feature in a certain defined region. For example, here we can see that we are having this hexagonal cut and we want to have multiple copies of this cut on this face so that we can create opening for this object. So fill pattern is generally used for the designing of electronic enclosures, for the design of grills and for the design of heat exchangers and for many more applications. So let's begin it. So as discussed here, we need one region for which we want to create multiple copies and we need a feature for that we want to create copies. So in our case, we'll be having this face as our region and this hexagon cut as our feature. So in your case, it may be some sketch that we want to use as a region and there can be some other cuts or other feature. It can be some extrusion or it can be some cut. Okay, so let's begin with this cut and this face. So in this drop down in the pattern, you can see here fill pattern option. So once you click on the fill pattern here, first we have to define the boundary or the region. So it can be sketch or cow or any face. In our case, we'll be using this face as our region. Now, once we select the region, we need to select the feature that we want to use for pattern. So in our case, we'll use this cut as the feature. So from this tree, we'll select here this cut extrude. After selecting the region, for the pattern and the feature that we want to be pattern you you are having different four options uh, that will tell you how you want to arrange your patterns on the region so the first one is here these are our original feature and these are the different patterns that we are going to create so here it has arranged all the patterns in a kind of staggered manner and the similar option will be here that will be the linear pattern. So here we can see that all are on a single line in vertical and horizontal directions. Apart from there, we are having two other options like one is circular. So if you want to have patterns with the original feature at the center and the different patterns around in a circular fashion. And the last one is the polygon so there we want to define let's say the polygon instead of circle so for our example let us create the circular fill pattern after defining the region the pattern layout and the feature it will automatically calculate the number of features that are created based on the distance so this margin is basically the distance between the two pattern that will be created so depending on the needs or defending let's say if you are designing the electronics enclosure you need certain airflow so this pattern will define your air resistance so based on your design you can change this distance or margin so let's say in our case we'll use it as 2.5 mm and that's pretty good so here it will update the number of patterns that are going to be created and then we can just click on OK. So here we can see that the pattern is created. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please hit on the like button, share it and subscribe to this channel CADCAM CE Tutorials. Thanks.